Hey guys, what's going on? It is Dan Lags, and welcome back to a brand new video. Guys, today I'm going to be bringing you a little bit of a throwback tour. So I was going through all of my list of saves here on Xbox One, some of the worlds that I had converted from 360, just for the sake of nostalgia, and I stumbled upon one of my old Let's Build worlds from Xbox One that I haven't worked on for years. And I was just getting loads of nostalgia flying around and looking at these old builds, so I thought I would share that in video format today. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of this stuff. All you old school fans of the channel will probably remember a lot of these builds as pretty much every single build that is in this world was built as a Let's Build series. Uh, basically meaning that, you know, it's all been documented on video, so there really wasn't anything on this world that you guys haven't already seen if you've, in theory, watched all the videos. So, um, this is going way back though. In fact, I think the first build on this world um, was this one right here, the Ultra Modern House 3. And this one was built in 2013, the summer of 2013, um, I'm pretty sure. So, you know, that's going back, what, four years now, more than four years. So it's uh, it's pretty crazy. And, and you know what's funny about this house is that I was looking at it and I was just really thinking to myself, like, this house aged actually fairly well. Like, I actually really still like this house a lot, the concept of it. You know, you would think that, you know, especially the modern style of builds in Minecraft, that the the style would kind of fade over time and you know it would, things would become outdated but honestly with this build i think it still looks pretty solid i really do like obviously the interior is a little bit dated but that's going to go with pretty much every build but the way it's built into the environment and just some of the structural formats i think honestly is something that i would still do to this day like this particular corner here with this clay i mean i might not use clay that specific block but that curving window there around the angle, I really think that's like solid. I really do. So Ultra Modern House 3, this was the first thing built on this world. And this is a, um, this was a Let's Build series, this house. In fact, we're finding some mistakes. I can't believe this. Mistakes from four years ago. We got to fix them. Yeah, but this was a Let's Build house. Um, I, I'm actually not 100% sure if this was a Let's Build house. I'm going to say it was, but I'm not 100% sure. I would have to go back into the archives and kind of confirm that. But uh, yeah, like this is actually still like a, one of my favorite houses. It's it's really weird because normally when I go back and look at my old Minecraft builds, I'm like, sheesh, this is this is dated. You know, this is definitely not how I would build now. But you no, know, aside from maybe a few technical things, like for example, this right here, adding that little opening in the wall to fit in a Danville's anvil, that's something I probably wouldn't do anymore. I would probably just leave that wall straight uh, flush like that instead of you know. I'll basically show you guys an example of what I would do. I would get rid of this, and I would probably just build it like that nowadays, just make it completely flush. Uh, but that's just a small thing, you know? But overall, like, this house, I, I still think it kind of... Somehow, it stands this test of time. I just got really badly stuck there, but... I don't know, I just really like it. Um, love the way it's built into the mountain. That's definitely one of my favorite parts of it. Let's go inside. Let's check it out. I'll check it out real quick. I'm gonna... What I'm gonna do with this video, it's gonna be pretty unstructured. Um, what I'm going to try to do is just fly around the world and check out all the builds, or at least most of the builds, the majority of them, uh, in both the city and the default texture pack. So let's take a look at some of this interior. This is probably going to be the part where it's really going to show its age. Um, you know, like this kitchen, it's honestly, it's really not even that bad. I mean, obviously I wouldn't put like enchantment tables in the corners anymore, or even, I don't even use, uh, item frames anymore. Although I have to admit those item frame cabinet designs, really old school design. That still honestly looks pretty good. What's going on in here? I don't even remember this room. As a matter of fact, is that some sort of like glitch right there? I think that's a glitch. There's no way. Yeah, that, that's just a wall glitch because there's no way in hell that was actually a mistake like that. Let's see what's going on down here in the basement. I don't even remember the basement of this place. There's a, there's a dining room table down here. Huh. I better not have made the dining room table in the basement. We even have a survival enchantment area. So this house has got the whole package. <laughs> I really don't even remember the basement. Let's check out some other stuff, though. I mean, honestly, a little bit of a complicated floor plan. Not the best. But you know what? Still love it. Still love the build. Especially for the exterior. One room that I definitely wanted to um, spotlight uh, was, I believe, this one right here. Yeah, this room is... I think this room is still really solid. Um, especially, you know, this the window that kind of, you know, has the angle all the way around the entire wall there. I really like that a lot, even to this day. I think that's really solid. So, and it's got a nice view too. And then what's going on out here? We have our, our balcony. 
with some of these old school umbrella designs. That, that's how you can tell how old a build is, just by how, what kind of style the umbrella is using. Like this was pre-umbrella bed era. And I think umbrella beds are, are starting to make a comeback, I think, with the colored beds, I'm pretty sure. But um, yeah, th this is some old school stuff right here. All right, so anyway, let, that's just one build, guys. Let's check out some other ones. Um, these two over here were just like simple, like one part tutorial videos. This this one might've been two parts, but I'm, I think I actually squeezed this into one video. This was a house, uh, just like a super simple modern house that you could build in survival um, or in creative if you want. Honestly, it looks pretty solid to me. But I think the catch behind this house was that it was catered to the fantasy texture pack because I kind of had like this little shtick where, you know, I was trying to show that you could actually build a modern house with the fantasy texture pack, which I don't really know why you'd ever do that. But I think I guess I tried to just mess around one day as a video idea. So and, uh, and this is what I ended up building. But honestly, I think it looks fine in the default as well. It, this would probably look fine in the city texture pack as well. Um, I can't remember if the city texture pack was already out when this build was created. I really just don't remember when I built this. Like, I'm gonna guess that it was in, like, early 2014. City, I think, was out by then, but I'm honestly not sure. And then this one over here is another little house. I think this was, like, a 10 by 10 plot here. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, maybe a 12 by 12 plot, or 11 by 11, whatever. It doesn't matter. What the number is but it was like a little plot build modern house for survival i think i actually built this a couple times on other people's worlds but it's kind of like a mini version of the ultra modern house 3 uh in terms of like this curved wall there <laughs> i honestly think it looks pretty good it's got a, it's got its own garage and everything this house is perfect for survival we even have a little trap door here that goes down to a basement for even more storage i totally forgot this existed this is actually fantastic <laughs> Some, I gotta, maybe I'll do another one of these little um, survival plot houses here pretty soon because those are actually really fun to make. And I feel like that's something that's still kind of in demand even a little bit. All right, well, there's three houses, guys. What we're going to do is I'm just going to fly straight across the map. I'm not going to cover everything. Like, I'm going to skip that one um, just for the sake of time. And that one, that house isn't really even that good anyway. Uh, right over here, though, real quick, this is the uh, the saloon. The, sal the Western Saloon build. I did this one in the summer of 2014. I know that for a fact. Because I remember I built this entire thing in one day. Recorded all the episodes for it in one day. And scheduled, rendered them and scheduled them over the course of a week. Because I was going on vacation. So this was like my vacation placeholder. Channel was running itself. Let's build series. Back in the day. So honestly I think this is pretty cool. I, I would like to build more like Western style builds um, like this. This one's actually perfect for the default texture pack. It's even got this little karaoke stage here. We have the jukebox machine. We have the moose uh, taxidermy head. Oh, fantastic. The whole nine is in here. Love it. Love the love the Western saloon. Classic build. Doesn't really fit anything else in the world, which is funny because they have like modern houses over there. And then boom, you come in the middle of the desert and you got yourself this old school saloon, which still I think looks really cool. And it would be even better if uh, we had um, the stained clay, which I, is now terracotta. It's amazing how much things have changed. This was actually uh, before stained clay came out on Xbox. So that, that's why I was using regular clay there. So this house could potentially be even better if it was given, you know, a different color theme. I'd probably do like red or maybe even brown. I think I actually did come in and world edit modify this build once on... Um, on PC, I might be able to uh, find an old screenshot of that. If I can find it, I'll put it on the screen. But anyway, let's uh, let's move on here. Um, let's go ahead and cover one more house in the default texture pack, and then I'm gonna switch over to the city texture pack. So we gotta fly out here in the boonies. Um, there it is. We have my, uh, actually this is still one of my favorite houses I've ever made, but this one's way off the beaten path. This is the Italian Villa Let's Build. I still love this house, honestly, I really do. This is still one of my probably top 10 favorite houses I've ever made. I don't know if it would make the top five at this point just because I built so much stuff. I think I made this build back when Jungle Wood was relatively new. This build is at least three years old. It was built in default, so that's why we're showing it in this, but I feel like these Jungle Wood um, leaves, I guess, are like really solid for this build. Like they match them really well just because they kind of look like they have little I don't know, fruits growing in the trees. So like those particular leaves were like perfect for this build. And I think we used them even for the uh, vineyards back here as well. We did. So yeah, I don't know. This house uh, was one of those builds that was like 
really themed to you know a certain style and I don't know, it just, there's not, not really much else I can say about it. It just turned out really good. I love this balcony up here. I think this is one of the, the nice things about the build. It just turned out really solid. Let's take a look at the interior. I'm pretty sure this is when I started like the double stack era of builds, when I was starting to double stack all the walls and the interiors. Because that was something that I, I think I started with the Alpine Mansion. And I want to say that this build was either close, close after the Alpine Mansion or like during the same time period. It might have been like right around the same time that I was building the Alpine Mansion when I was creating this one as well. So this one's got a really solid interior. Um, again, this was all built for the default. Obviously, some of the um, the wools are going to be a little bit different colored nowadays. We have a bunch of uh, Benefactor Pantos <laughs> from GTA 5, the smart cars. This, uh, this particular household, they drive smart cars, all right? Don't judge them. But yeah, this is the Italian build. I, I, I still love this house. Definitely still a top 10 house for me. Definitely my favorite house on this particular world. Okay, guys, I swapped over to the city touch pack, and I'm going to be checking out two more builds for the conclusion of this video. Um, as far as I'm concerned, this is everything that I wanted to show in the world. There might be like one more build that I'm thinking of, maybe off in the distance, but I'm pretty sure I covered everything. But that's neither here nor there. Let's check out these last two builds here. Starting off with this yellow traditional house. This was a Let's Build series. In fact, these two houses right here, the yellow traditional house and then this modern house up on the side of the hill, uh, those two builds were back-to-back -back Let's Build series. I believe they preceded um, the Italian villa, if I remember correctly. I was going on like a little series of Let's Builds at the time. But um, yeah, this house is um, pretty solid. I don't know if like it's my favorite house I've ever made. It definitely is a little dated in terms of some of the styles on it. Um, I don't know, like, the yellow wool is definitely out there for sure. Some of the windows aren't super detailed as, what the, you know, what I would do now. So, it's definitely a little bit of a dated build, but, you know, you have to consider that this is a three-year-old house. Still, honestly, looks pretty solid to me. This tree in the front yard, it's a perfect spot for it. I think this one's interior is, like, super weird, though. Like, the ceilings are really low. They're only four block tall ceilings. I typically like to keep it to at least five nowadays. So it's definitely, I think this was like one of the first interiors that I did with the city texture pack, um, like experimenting with it. Could be wrong. I don't 100% remember that whole time period between when the city texture pack came out and then what I was building. Because I know that like right when it came out, I immediately started, you know, using it in Los Angeles. Um, and then this build was started probably about six months or seven months after Los Angeles started. So it was uh, still early stages of LD when this build was created. And then the next one up on the hill here, this is a, a modern house that I think is a lot better than the yellow house for sure, even though they're completely different styles. I think I did a top five modern houses let's build or um, countdown for like my top five favorite houses of, that, I've, that are modern style a couple years ago. And this one I think was number one on the list, either that or number two. I'm not sure it would still be my favorite modern house I've ever done. There's definitely a couple that might have passed it since that time, but. This house is still really solid, and believe it or not, it actually looks good in the default as well, despite the light gray wool. Um, but I think just like the the shapes that I used, just really smooth. Um, just everything kind of turned out the way I would want, right? You would think like this window here, kind of weird, but I thought it turned out pretty good. The whole backyard is nice with the pool. I like how the pool has like a waterfall inside of it. The house is kind of going over top of the pool pretty good and then this one actually has a really good interior as well you know which is sometimes a little bit tricky the only thing here is that the uh <laughs> the the, uh, the tv painting from city texture back has fallen off because i don't think you can place them on signs anymore i think that was patched which it shouldn't have been but whatever we have the thermostat there some sculptures on the wall very open floor plan in here i love it though the fireplace is cool we have the kitchen and the dining room we have the garage, bathroom. Yeah, I mean, this house is really cool. Definitely uh, still really like this build. Can't say that it's too dated. Like, I would still think this is a pretty solid build. Right in here, we have the uh, the master bedroom. TV on the wall. It's like a perfect spot for that TV. And then we have, of course, the bathroom. Some balconies everywhere. When in doubt, when you're building the modern house, just spam balconies. That's what I did here. And uh, yeah, I think this house, this house is pretty cool. Not gonna lie, I like it. Um, this, this leads probably like what straight down into the fireplace. Did I, did I make it? So it went straight down. Yeah, I did. Look at that. Fantastic. The only thing it's, I just broke like this entire area, but whatever. Got to fix this. Fix it. Oh no, that's not the right block. Pick block that. There we go. 
when your HUD is off. Thank God for pick block, right? Jeez Louise. I just like griefed my entire build. Put that back. There we go. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's going to wrap it up for uh, this little throwback video. Definitely a lot of nostalgia here on this world. That's for sure. Between the city texture pack and the default. This is a really old world. I don't think I've... Again, the last thing I built in this world was this house or this build right here, the Western Saloon. And that was in the summer of 2014. So this house, this entire world is like at least three years old. You know, pretty much this was only... Everything on here was built on 360 before Xbox One Edition came out. So that's another, you know, good way to date this thing. But... Yeah, I gotta admit, this house isn't quite as good in the, the city texture pack as it is in the default. Both the snow and the clay blocks are really not good. <laughs> That's That made the uh, the transition from the default to the city so hard, I remember back in the day, because like those blocks were just not compatible. And at the time, snow and clay blocks were like all the rage in Minecraft. So that was really a struggle, trying to convert your worlds. But um, <laughs> good good memories there, but... Thank you guys for watching this video. Just a little throwback tour for you guys. I love going back and checking out some old worlds. I've done these types of videos in the past with like Danville and stuff. And um, you guys have seemed to really like them. So I thought I'd do another one today. Throwback tours are super fun. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this trip down memory lane. For some of you, this is probably like recap of some old videos. And, and maybe for some of you newer subscribers, you know, you've never seen any of this before. And it's all a bunch of new builds. So either way, fantastic. Thank you guys for watching. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.